One of the projects that we built this quarter is a seismograph. We're measuring vibration of the Earth using a pendulum with a small magnet at the end swinging by a wire coil. So as the Earth shakes, or the cabinet shakes, we generate a small AC voltage which is amplified by an op-amp circuit up there, and that voltage is sent down to a data acquisition unit, which we can then display the voltage of here on a graph. Uh, the circuit looks like this. We have our pickup coil at the end of the pendulum, generates an AC voltage when the pendulum swings. That signal is sent through a shielded cable to the input of an op-amp, which is very, very high gain. That sends a signal out through another shielded cable to a data acquisition unit. And the way it should work, coming over here, I can simulate an earthquake by hitting the uh, cabinet here, and the vibration is picked up by our data acquisition unit. Now, the reason I'm taking a video of this is to show you a very difficult problem to find that we happen to encounter in building this system, and that is the problem of an improperly grounded shield. Looking at our circuit again, we can see there's supposed to be one ground point for the shield. If we loosen this ground point, we will not have any grounding on any part of the uh, shielding. So watch what happens when I come over here and loosen the ground connection on the shield. So right here, the shield on the cable is no longer connected to earth ground. What happens here is I get a markedly different pattern on my data acquisition waveform. Instead of being centered around zero volts, we suddenly shoot up to around five volts with some oscillations. You can't see it here in the DAC display, but there's actually a 40 kilohertz oscillation that's being generated by the op-amp. And here's why. When you look at the schematic, without that ground connection right there, you have capacitive coupling between the output of the op-amp through the shield wire back to the input of the op-amp through the natural capacitance in the cable on the input and the natural capacitance of the cable on the output. This provides a regenerative signal path for oscillations to occur. And this op-amp will begin to oscillate all on its own without any vibration, without any signal to pick up coil. So we have ourselves an oscillator circuit instead of a uh, simple signal amplifier. And as a result, our signal picked up at the data acquisition unit is kind of going nuts. On the other hand, if we connect our ground, we bond the shield wire to earth ground. What that does now is it provides a short circuit path for any capacitively coupled signal current to go straight to ground instead of being coupled over to the input wire. And as a result, our system works like it should. Now we have a voltage reading that's centered around zero volts, and it's able to detect vibrations. As I hit the cabinet, you can see the vibrations being picked up. That's a very difficult sort of problem to diagnose and to resolve, uh, because you disconnect the shield, and suddenly the op-amp's going crazy. You don't know why it's oscillating. It all has to do with an improperly grounded shield. It's a very tough problem to diagnose, but it's something you may see on the job.